In this video, we're going to talk about WAC. And WAC stands for the Weighted Average Cost of Capital. Now, I have been dying to shoot this video because this is one of my favorite topics in finance. And I think it's really powerful, and I feel like a lot of people don't, um, are, aren't really using this in their, their organizations. So, what is WAC? Um, it's based on this very simple idea. And the idea is that every dollar in your organization has a cost to it. And that cost is your cost of capital. So, let's, it's, it's easy to think about it this way. Your business is essentially a machine. If you can think about your business as a machine and you have capital flowing in one side and profits flowing out the other side. So you can have something like one dollar in capital flowing in on one side and two dollars in profit flowing out the other side. And what's important to realize is this capital, this, this funding that's flowing into your business entity, there's a cost to that. That money just isn't free. There's a cost. And that cost is associated with the riskiness of your business. So the riskiness of this $2 in profits flowing out the other end, that's what's going to factor into what the price is for this capital flowing in. Because people are going to be looking at, you know, should I provide capital to this company? And they're going to price the capital accordingly. And so you get the capital, it flows into your business, you create value, and profits flow out. And you do this year after year after year. So how do you figure out what the cost is of this capital? Well, um, it's a pretty simple equation. Um, you're basically going to take the weighted average. Um, and most companies use a combination of debt and equity. So you're just taking the weighted average of your cost of those sources of capital. Now, this is a flexible equation. If you have a different business model and you have different types of capital, um, you can factor those in as well. If you have um, convertible bonds, for instance, you can factor that in as a separate element. Um, but it it's, comes back to this idea is you're just finding the weighted average of your different sources of capital. So I'm going to put up the equation so you can see and what, we, what we're doing here is we take the cost of equity first and then we add to it the cost of debt. So um, we're taking, you, to walk through the equation, you have the weight of equity times your cost of equity plus the weight of debt times the cost of debt. Now, debt also has tax benefits, so you have to factor that in as well. Now, the cost of debt is easy to figure out because you're making those debt payments. You know how much that's costing you because you have an interest rate. The cost of equity is a little trickier for some people uh, because it's not always obvious, but there always is a cost to equity and it's always going to be more than debt because equity is riskier than debt. And some people think, tend to think that equity is free. Um, you just issue stock and people give you money, but that's not the case. There's a cost there and it's baked into the price that people are paying you. So e even if you're not aware of the cost, I guarantee you it's there. Um, and it's based on the riskiness of that opportunity. So you have your cost of equity, you have your cost of debt, and you get this overall cost of capital for your company. Now, this is a value that every business owner should know. Every owner should know what their WAC is, and they should be using it to make strategic financial decisions. Um, so, let me give you a couple of examples. So, if you're a business leader, you're probably looking at a couple of, of investment opportunities on your desk. Um, you might have five or six opportunities. You could spend money on uh, a new product launch. You could buy a new piece of equipment. You could 
uh, upgrade some software, uh, you can hire some new people. Um, all of these things are going to have costs associated with them and future cash flows associated with them and profitability associated with them. Um, hopefully you're making decisions that are going to lead to future company profits. Well, it's important when you're making those decisions to understand what the cost of capital is going to be. Because, for instance, let's say you're going to build a new factory and you've laid out all your costs, you've laid out all your cash flows, and you figure out that this investment is going to generate 20% profit. Well, if you, if, if, for instance, the cost of capital for your company you know is 10%, well really that 20% profit needs to be increased by the 10% cost of capital right from the start. And so you know that your profitability at, after that cost is only going to be 10%. So that's just a simple example, but um, I'm, I'm hoping people start to realize that all of these decisions you're making should tie into what the cost of your capital is. So there's another reason why this is very powerful to understand. And that is that this is a lever that is affecting the profitability across every element of your company. So, you know, before this capital even flows into your company, it's affecting you. And it's affecting every element of your company. So if you can lower that cost of that capital by just a little bit, it will increase the profitability across your entire company, and that can be very powerful. So I want to come back to that idea that you know every dollar that's flowing through your company has this cost associated with it, and it's your WAC. And if you understand what your WAC is, it will help you make better financial decisions. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the cost of cash. And this is a really interesting application of WAC. Um, so I'll see you in that video. Thank you very much.